A very good morning and uh, we're coming to you live from Kigali, Rwanda and uh, it is time for Open Exchange East Africa. A very good morning to my colleagues in Johannesburg as well as Nairobi. Uh, good morning there, Godfrey and Bonnie. Of course, I'm Dumisho Greater coming to you from Johannesburg, South Africa. Let's take a look at how the markets look like this morning. It is Thursday, fourth day of trading this week. We've been seeing a lot of activity in trying to uh, show up the shilling on the different currencies in the region. But we'll start off with uh, the Rwandan franc that is at 741.482 to the dollar in Nairobi. We are still in the 102 space. 102.15 is what it's selling for in Tanzania. Slight improvement of the unit there, 2,163 flat. In Uganda, we're looking at 3,330. The US dollar continues to subdue a lot of the regional currencies in the space right that's uh, where we leave things from uh, open exchange east africa we'll take a quick pause but tumisha is up next Welcome back. You're still on Open Exchange. Let's take a look at the top news items at this hour. Anglo-American continues to be hurt by sharp slides in commodity prices. The company has warned investors to brace themselves for write-downs in the value of several of its assets. The non-cash impairment may amount to four billion US dollars after tax. Uh, iron ore production from Kumba in the second quarter decreased by 9%. This was due to mining feedstock constraints to the plants at Sishin. And ESCOM has extended Acting Chief Executive Brian Molefe's contract for a further three months. Just some of the companies that are out with news uh, have had some interesting market movements. Uh, Woolworths yesterday was one of the uh, outperformers in terms of the retail uh, sales or retail updates. 4% firmer in yesterday's trading session. <music> Uh, let's now shift to the west of the continent. Esther is standing by. Esther, uh, we are seeing the earnings season kick off in the U.S. with those banking numbers. But the numbers haven't been great. It's also coming at a time where the market, uh, I, I think I can tell you now that we're officially uh, in a bear market. The NSE has been seen red in the last uh, 11 days. Investors are very disenchanted at the moment and keeping their eyes, of course, on the fiscal front from, for some sort of direction which is yet to come. But a key market event next week, uh, the MPC, uh, is going to come up and uh, everybody is looking onto the CBN, uh, the MPC, to see what kind of move they, they can make uh, that could make things better, if you will. That's it from the Open Exchange team. Have a great day further.